Canberra now and catch up with the Liberal Zed Sajelda. Thanks for joining us, uh, Zed. Uh, first up, uh, you, your thoughts on Thanks, Tim Chris. Fisher? Uh, well, you know, Tim Fisher was uh, obviously uh, our, our thoughts and condolences are with his family uh, and our prayers. Um, but I would say that Tim Fisher's legacy is a, a huge one. Uh, he is uh, was a great Australian uh, and a great bloke and someone who was much loved, I think, across the political spectrum. And one of those rare individuals who was able to combine physical courage. Uh, he served with distinction uh, in Vietnam uh, with moral courage. He fought for the things he believed in uh, and sometimes took on very difficult issues. You talked earlier about uh, gun control, uh, which was particularly difficult uh, for the National Party uh, when he was uh, in the leadership. So uh, a great Australian. Uh, I think he'll be remembered very, very fondly, uh, someone who was much loved and uh, brought a lot of character uh, to our parliament and to our national life. Yeah, now, Zed, in your capacity as Assistant Minister for Finance and you look after charities and electoral matters, uh, Tell us about this investigation that's uh, going to be conducted by the Charities and Not-for-Profit Commission into GetUp. What, what is at the nub of this controversy about GetUp and charity status? Well, GetUp has said publicly uh, a number of times that they don't have charity status, they don't want charity status. And what's emerged uh, in the last couple of days is that, in fact, uh, a number of GetUp uh, directors and other people associated with GetUp uh, have set up uh, an entity. It was originally uh, had a similar name. It was uh, GetUp Commons Library or GetUp Library, to, words to that effect. It's now changed its name to the Commons Library. It has charity status. And it's obviously, based on uh, what's in these reports and what's in some published documents, it's obviously very, very closely linked to the campaigning organisation GetUp, who says they don't want charity status, they don't need charity status, and, in fact, are a campaigning organisation, certainly uh, not a charity. And I've asked uh, for the uh, Charities Commissioner, the Charities Not Not-for-Profits Commissioner, uh, Gary Johns, to examine uh, these links because it is important that all charities are complying uh, with their obligations uh, under the law. Uh, it's important uh, that you don't see uh, money uh, or activities uh, from charities uh, that are not about uh, their charitable purpose. So it's uh, really was important that this is... If, we'll, we'll await the investigation, but if an organisation like GetUp was doing this, what would be the advantage? There would be no taxation advantage, but it would be a way of disguising where some of their do donations come from. Uh, well, there's a couple of things, and, and we don't know the detail. And I sure. would say to GetUp, who often argue about transparency, to really put a little bit more information on the table. For instance, um, how much money uh, has gone from this organisation, from this charity, to get up, it's been reported that they sponsored uh, one of GetUp's conferences, and so the potential, uh, and without knowing the detail, and no doubt uh, this will be examined uh, if there is an investigation, uh, is uh, the potential, of course, is that the charity gets uh, what's known as DGR status. So that means that if you make a donation uh, to this Commons Library, uh, you would get a tax deduction. Uh, and also, as you say, it's not always as clear uh, where donations have come from, which may or may not end up uh, with a group like GetUp okay. for their campaigns. We'll now, keep in touch. Up, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep in touch, uh, uh, Zed Sazilja, uh, and try and find out what that investigation uncovers. Thanks so much for joining us.